Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a guest star host with me today. This is my son, Steven. Hello. And we received a Pippa package. Anybody who is in the diamond painting community or cross tube community knows who Pippa Brown is. And she sent us a Pippa package with a challenge. Hey, so look, we got a little friend with us. Um, yep, yeah, our little friend, our little dog's back there behind us, little Chihuahua, Luigi. He's hey. eating something that he's not supposed to. Sorry for my appearance, but we just had a storm and I was outside standing enjoying the rain. So now, after this is all done, I have another video I need to make, and then I'm taking a shower so I can wash the rain off. But, so, I received this. This is the instructions. It says, your challenge, should you accept it, is to try Vegemite. On camera, insert evil laugh. So, this is Vegemite. This is a, it's full of vitamin B for vitality. Okay. Um, There is a allergen statement on this. It contains barley and wheat, and it also contains vitamins B1, B2, B3, and folate. Okay. So it comes in this little, like like the little jelly containers that we, you get in the restaurants. And it says, Vegemite is a yeast extract obtained from the leftovers after beer brewing. It is essentially the same product as Maramite. But many people argue about which is better. For all, intent, for all intents and purposes, they are pretty similar in substance. While Australians will seriously caution against ever eating Vegemite on its own, they will equally encourage how delicious it is when it's used properly by learning the proper proportional use and what dishes are enhanced with Vegemite you can learn to enjoy just as much as any Aussie. Don't eat it plain. Although it may be a common practice when trying a condiment to taste just a bit on your finger, and trust me, I was tempted. I didn't, but I was tempted. Or on a spoon, doing so with Vegemite will likely result in you never wanting to eat it again. Vegemite is meant to be used as a condiment or a seasoning, not as a standalone food. This is part of why it is has such a strong taste because it's meant to add flavor to other foods. So the instructions, there's like two choices here. One, spread lightly on buttered toast. If you, if you often eat toast for breakfast, but you get tired of the blandness of butter alone, or you want a salty alternative to jam, Vegemite is a great alternative. It complements the blandness of butter very well while adding a rich, salty taste. As it says, number two, use it sparingly. This is the most important thing to remember. Vegemite has a strong taste and it can be pretty unpalatable at first. To enjoy your first taste or to acquire the taste over time, be sure to start with a small amount because it is so strong. A little bit will go a long way in adding taste. If you overdo it when you first try it out, you may, ca you may cause yourself to not want to try it again. Vegemite is, also, Vegemite is like any other seasoning or condiment. Too much of it will overpower the food you're putting on it and probably ruin it. Go with just a little at first and then add slowly if you feel food needs more. She said that she recommends using Vegemite with honey. When she was pregnant with her daughter, her husband inflicted, sorry, loved me, and buttered toast and then added strips of Vegemite and honey. We nicknamed them bumblebees. So, um, my husband, I wanted him to try it as well, but he does not want to do videos on camera. So, he tried it. Um, he took a piece of toast, and on one half I put, well, I put butter on both sides, but on one half I put butter and added the Vegemite, just a little bit. And then the other half I buttered it, put a little bit of Vegemite and a little bit of honey on it. He preferred the side that had the honey to it. He said the, the Vegemite and butter by itself, 
He said he could eat it. It wasn't that bad, but he preferred it with the honey. So I have made another half, you know, took the other half of the toast and did the same thing. These ones down here, you can actually see the ones that have the honey because you can see the honey on the plate. These ones up here are just Vegemite and butter. So it's up to my son on how we're going to do this. I cut these because it'll be easier for me to chew. So I cut these this way and it's up to my son on which one he wants to try first. I'm going to try the one without the honey first. Which one is it? Okay, without ones? the honey is, out, is yours. No, wait a minute. Take, go ahead and take it, but I'm going to, we're going to try it together. Right. And it, this is just, just butter and, and Vegemite on this one. Same with his. We do have drinks at the ready. And here we go. It is good. It almost tastes like pepperoni on a pizza. No. I'm not spitting it out. It has, I mean, it's salty. I don't think so. But not overly salty. It almost... It has like almost smokiness to it. And it kind of almost reminds me of Worcestershire sauce. I like it. I yeah, do too. I like it. I could, sorry, I could eat this on my toast every breakfast. Absolutely. Not for yeah. Honey. Well, I have another half because I had to cut mine in half. So this is still. But do I have any others? No, because you had, you had a bigger piece. That's why I didn't, I didn't cut yours in half. Okay. But now. It is just like pepperoni pizza to me. These are all honey. These are mine all honey. Okay. That is really good. I like that. So I'll grab this one. These are all yours. Oh, okay. I needed center pieces. So this has honey on it. That's great. <clears throat> oh yeah. I like that. I could eat either of them. Absolutely. So that actually is your second one. I had two, so we can have two more. There's yours. There's mine. I could absolutely eat this for breakfast. I could eat this. <clears throat> I could eat this as a snack because I love toast. Um, with the braces on, I don't eat a lot of it. Unless I cut the crust off and just eat the center part. And then, of course, I put a lot of butter on it. And usually I toast my toast very light. I don't like it real crispy anyway. But I could eat this as an evening snack. We could get the Vegemite. They sell it at Smith's. No, they don't. Yeah, I saw it. It comes in a little tube. I can show you where it is. Yeah, you can order it off Amazon, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Peppa, thank you for sending this. I love it. My son, he'll try anything. <clears throat> he has a very um, interesting palate. Um, I don't want soda. He likes like crumbled blue cheese. Goat cheese. Um, well, I like goat cheese. I don't like blue cheese. Um, all my honey came off my piece. Um, he likes sardines and he likes 
Was it smoked oysters or something? Uh, I don't like those because every time when I breathe outside air, it tastes like my mouth tastes like a campfire. <laughs> Yeah, he, he'll try anything, which I'm glad that he'll try anything. He doesn't like everything that he tries. Um, I love liver and onions. We had liver and I made it for me the other night. He didn't care for it. He says, I seen, seasoned it really well, but he didn't like it. Um, this is definitely something that we are going to try and get. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> you can buy it on, a, on Amazon. Um, I'm hoping it's some, not some knockoff then, but yeah, do not try to eat that. I'm not. I'm just looking And at you it. can tell. I used, um, sourdough bread and it was the rustic. So it's long, like really long pieces and I cut it in half. Yeah. Well, I cut it like a piece about that big for my husband and then I took the other part and just spread everything on it and then cut it in half and then pieces for me and my son and that's all we used and the piece of bread like I said was about that long but it was also about that wide they're really big pieces you do not want to use a lot but absolutely I would definitely enjoy this especially with a cup of tea. Um, but absolutely. So thank you, Pippa, for sending that to me, giving me and my son a chance to do a video together, which was fun. Good job. We survived it. It wasn't as bad. I have, it wasn't bad at all, actually. I watched the videos and I've seen some people not do well. So I was a little scared. Why wouldn't they do well? Oh, they, th they were spitting it out. They were gagging. I think it was for come shock here, factor because it wasn't. Come here. And so come closer. I'm not a huge there fear person. So, you know, I, I'm very particular on the beer that I drink when I do drink beer. But, you know, that was definitely, that's definitely something that I could enjoy. Like I said, with a cup of tea in the evening or cup of tea in the morning. Look, look at the camera. With yeah. what's... Up oh, there he is. There's mm -hmm. my little guy. There's Luigi. <laughs> um, this, with the remainder of this, I'll put this in a Ziploc baggie and put it in the refrigerator um, since there's so much left. And I will make me a cup of hot tea and put this on toast with honey in the morning. That'll be my breakfast. So, well, not all of it. My son will probably have some too, because that's still too much sparingly. Definitely, I think if you put too much on it, I wouldn't have liked it if it would have been overpowering. But yeah, so again, thank you, Pippa, for sending me a Pippa package. My son already ate the... Um, there was red skin. It was red skin candy that she sent. It was it was amazing. He already. I wanted him to do it a video, do it on the video with me, but he couldn't wait and he ate it. So he enjoyed that. So it's, red it's, skin candy. It it's was, like a taffy, I, I guess. It tasted more like a vanilla or like milk and strawberry. It was. It's like good. a strawberry cream. Yeah. So he really enjoyed that. So. But again, thank you very much. I will link Pippa's channel in the description box. And thank you. I we had I enjoyed doing this with my son. We both got to try something that neither of, had, of us have had before, and wouldn't have had the opportunity to try it if people wouldn't have sent it to us. So until next time, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Bye, guys. See you later.